Tuesday was a big day for Lyle and Debbie Simonson as the spotlight shone on their new home in Swift Current. National and local dignitaries were on hand for the ribbon-cutting ceremony for the first home built in Western Canada to the new R2000 standard. The Simonsons, who recently retired from farming, decided to build their new home in Swift Current with the environment in mind and had no idea they would be setting a trend along the way. We'd always said if the opportunity came where we could build a new home, we would like to do as much as we could or as much as we could afford at the time. And friends of ours, a couple of our friends have geothermal and we knew that was very satisfactory. So that was an easy decision. And as we got into the building further and further, we decided, well, we may as well have the solar energy as well. And so we ended up with what we have today. The new home includes high performance insulation, high efficiency windows and other key features, meeting the new R2000 standard for construction, keeping the interior warm in winter and cool in summer. There's radiant heating which comes off the geothermal system. Um, so that's natural because it, it does it on its own while it's running, as well as it heats the domestic hot water um, into a holding tank off of the compressor of the geothermal. And then what we did is we put in a tankless Energy Star hot water system um, so that if the geothermal isn't running, then it'll still touch up the, the already hot water and bring it up to the correct temperature. And with these efficiencies in place, the Simonsons can expect to save at least $300 per month on their energy bill, a payback for their initial investment spanning over an 18-year term. An overall green initiative which falls in line with directives from the federal government. Yeah, one of the things we really focused on is energy efficiency and that of course is where this house shines and that's one of the best ways that we've got of, of conserving energy, of uh, not producing greenhouse gases in the first place. So it's good to see a project like this in Swift Current and uh, hopefully there'll be many others. The original R2000 program was introduced in the mid-1980s to demonstrate the state-of-the-art design and construction techniques for energy efficiency that have now become the basis of Canada's energy codes.